this is David Arlint again, and the nice thing is I'm not talking about politics today. I'm talking about nurses and nursing. For those of you who aren't aware, I was a registered nurse for 18 and a half years. The last 15 years, uh, I was worked at Providence Portland Medical Center in Portland, Oregon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ten years ago, little over 10 years ago, I was injured helping a patient. And I had been at Providence Portland for 15 years. And they said, we'll take care of you, we'll do right by you and everything. Now, I posted a video earlier and I'll link it in and I had to change the name and description about a thousand times because YouTube and Google AdSense did not want to touch it with a 10 foot pole. Where I explain, how I got $100 for my 15 years of service while my CEO got paid a nice $10 million working for a Catholic charity healthcare foundation. The nurses at my former job are now on strike for at least five days. Now, before you complain about these greedy nurses, and I will link this article from Oregon Public Broadcasting, to the 1800 Providence nurses on strike in Portland and Seaside, which is of course on the coast of Oregon. Before you complain about these greedy nurses, because I always uh, um, get this, you know, that nurses should just go do their job and, and, and not have to worry about it. It says in this article that they're, uh, it's overpay I really, I'm not so sure about it. Of course, things have probably changed in the 10 years since I worked there, but it was over staffing and the incredible staffing uh, positions. But pay does have something to do with it. Uh, their health care benefits are going down, down, down. Their retirement benefits are near the bottom of all the nurses in the, in the state of Oregon, really. If you look at Providence Health and Services, and here's an article from the New York Times that I uh, borrowed from my previous video, and I will link it again also in the description. They talk about Providence getting over $500 million in federal subsidies to go for COVID uh, things, you know, when COVID was just hitting and all of these small hospitals were looking at going out of business. This article jumps in, but Providence's financial stability after getting $500 million does not appear to be in jeopardy. The hospital network has nearly $12 billion in cash reserves. It has invested that money in hedge funds, private equity firms, and real estate ventures. And it continues. It also oversees two venture capital funds that manage about $300 million on behalf of the healthcare chain. That was my retirement money, by the way. The venture funds do deals alongside some of the country's highest profile investment firms, including Kleiner, Perkins, and Carlisle. Last year, Providence's portfolio of investments generated about 1.3 billion in profits, far exceeding the profits from its hospital operations. Like other nonprofits, Providence generally does not owe federal taxes on its earnings. In 2018, Providence paid its chief executive, Dr. Rod Hoffman, more than $10 million. That statement there probably is going to get me booted off of YouTube. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, uh, you know, especially over that last line, if you go on Wikipedia, and I'll just zip up here so you can see, here's the New York Times, the Providence Health and Services, more than $10 million. It talks about their $12 billion in cash reserves and making investments. Uh, it generate approximately $1.3 billion in profits per year. So I don't want to hear a damn word about those greedy nurses. I want to hear words about those greedy jerks in the administrative buildings. 
As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please share your thoughts with me down below. I will be doing some tweaking of my computer and systems. I've gotten some complaints or problems with people hearing um, my videos. So I'm trying to adjust the volume. Please let me know how that is working or not working. And also I will be upgrading my uh, CPU and memory and some other stuff that I hope will help along those lines. So have a good rest of your day.